Silicon Graphics recently invited the press and South Africa's top creative directors to the launch of the new Silicon Studio in Johannesburg. The idea behind Silicon Studio? The creation of a digitally proficient local industry. There were lots of creative artists in South Africa, lots of um, animators, illustrators and so forth, but very few of them were digitally oriented. What we've introduced is a concept, I think, that will allow local talent to be developed and become digitally oriented and in that respect allow ad agencies, advertising firms, post-production houses to do more advanced work, more creative work with the technology right here. When complicated work does appear in your community and industry, you don't have to export it because you have people who can take advantage of the best technology right here that will be trained up. Students attending the first Silicon Studio course, apart from learning how to use this exciting technology, were also set the difficult task of producing an advert for television. The product, a condom awareness ad for Planned Parenthood. Being thrown in at the deep end and learning to create marketable product is what creativity in the digital age is all about. Here is a look at the quality of work the students created after only three weeks in training. Here's Johnny! Hey, hey good evening, good evening. I'm so happy to be here tonight, I could just burst. <laughs> relax, ladies, relax. Glad to see that didn't go right over your head, sir. Hey, nice pullover. Seriously, though, I think men have it really hard these days. Not when it counts, though. <laughs> But hey, it's not easy being a stand-up comic either. Getting up here every night. Don't worry, ma'am, that was an in-joke. Yeah, getting up and poking fun at stiffs like you. Okay, you've been fantastic. Thanks for, for coming. This runs as fast as your mind can basically work. So you can do things and you can play and model in time really fast. A project of this scale would not have been attempted in anything less than maybe four or five weeks. And we've managed to learn the software and apply. And uh, this is with the help of a really good team that's put together. We each knew a little bit extra and it will balance out very well. And we produce something that actually looks very good in about two and a half, three weeks. I mean, we don't have to follow every Disney book. You know, we've got our own talent to let really bring forward. Here's Johnny. Hey, good evening, good evening. I'm so happy to be here tonight. I could just burst. The idea is that when a student comes through the program, they will be available for real work in the community. Right? It would not just be an academic exercise, but it will be a real world set of experiences. They understand things like deadlines. They understand things like fickle clients who you know, change their minds and things of that nature. <laughs> but hey, it's not easy being a stand-up comic either. Getting up here every night. Don't worry, ma'am, that was an in-joke. It's really rubbery and it's real. <laughs> a bit pink. A bit pink. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to make a condom bounce up and down. It's a first. <laughs> it's first for us, first for everybody. Um, I think generally South African society is very um, conservative. So hopefully we'll be able to make a breakthrough. Making a breakthrough is exactly what Silicon Studio intends to do. Through the power of digital content creation, visualization around the globe has reached new heights. The artist's imagination is liberated and the realms of possibility are stretched, enhanced and made truly magical. After completing the Silicon Studio course, students are awarded a certificate, which is a passport into a career whose impact has only just begun. Happy man! Here you go. We have, we have, we have a, you have a, you got a Silicon Studio mug. I can't tell you how much it costs. Jeez. 
It's basically a little story about reaching for the stars. And what you guys did was basically reach for the stars and you made something happen. Content is where the world is going, right? And content is consumable and valuable. And, you know, the rest of the world doesn't have a monopoly on ideas, right? And creativity. And if you can get access to your creative people, give your creative people access to this technology, I think you can move right into the hunt, okay, in terms of, you know, competitive, consumable, exportable content.